Season 10, The Heist. Mmm, it's an orange juice. If you do get the season pass, it's one of the best. Oh my frick, I didn't use code OJ. It expires every seven days. That's like the 10th time I've done this. Oh my gosh. If you do buy the season pass, highly recommend it. We get a small kickback from that, from all the season passes, from the gem packs, from the chest packs and everything that you get. I don't know if I really need this right now though. If you want to get an exclusive hunter emote, then this is not bad. If you're level nine, level 10, this will actually do wonders for your account if you don't have many legendaries yet. But honestly, on my mini mini account, I don't really like this emote that much and I'm willing to wait until it hits the shops in three months for 250 gems. But if you do get it, Code OJ's the way. This is going to be the second fastest way to acquire crowns. It's been day one and I'm already on rank number seven. This takes seconds. I did have a heist deck earlier on, but I realized that at the time of releasing my last heist video, we didn't have the battle healer exist in this game. So I swapped out Mega Minion for battle healer and she just heals the heck out of everything. One time someone tried tornadoing the 20 skeletons that my witch spawned and she just healed it all up. The thing about this deck is that night witch and witch spawn infinite skeletons. Battle healer infinitely heals everything. There are no towers to take anything out. The goblin is really only to defend against P.E.K.K.A.s and little things coming up. The miner is more to pick up the princess because the logs do not reach that far. Flying machine and magic archer stack so, 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 so good in this. Even the six tile range magic archer. The baby dragon, it splashes, it tanks. It is a splank. This is probably one of the best decks in heist you could ever use in this game just to get back to back dubs. The best way to get crowns is going to be the in the seven times elixir challenge but that isn't out in the game yet right now so we're gonna do heist and we're gonna get to 35 rank in one day maybe not one day but you'll, you'll get the point starting off the bat i like to do a witch or a net witch in the very back just because they start trickling in those skellies let's see how he counters this if there's even anything to counter executioner i like it i'm gonna wait for the first wave of skeletons get hit and i'm gonna send in the miner to divert him in the okay that didn't divert anything not good that's fine We'll do a uh, Night Witch on the right side, just so that we can start stacking those bats. That Magic Archer is hitting my Magic Archer really well, holy heck. But my Magic Archer's locked on. The Witch is spawning those skeletons infinitely. I'm going to do a Flying Machine on the right side, because I want to take out the skeletons, or the Gobby Gobs, and I'll probably just use the Battle Healer on the right side. Oh heck. We got we got to stop that inferno dragon. That was that was damage. I kind of want to support the battle healer, so we're going to go in with a miner in the back there. It, there is one skeleton to kind of support it. She's so value right now. Battle healer healing the my miner, healing everything. She's just an unstoppable force without the towers. An executioner is barely tickling her. Look at that! My magic archer is locked onto the tower. There's nothing he can do. I feel like he should have done the goblin gang on top of that battle healer first. She lived for so long. That was great. I almost just want to do a battle healer again on the bottom. I do have to kind of be careful though. I could lose if I let that inferno dragon lock on. But that'd be ridiculous if I let it lock on. I'm going to do a flag machine kind of a little bit lower. And then I don't want that flag machine getting wrecked by that executioner, so we're gonna tank it from there. Oh my gosh, he went for a golem. Witch will defend a golem completely. So I'm gonna put a witch earlier in the back just so that she starts stacking those skeletons. Baby dragon locks onto the tower, that's it. We don't really need to do anything. That golem has nothing against me. These are back to back games, three crown victories. It's three crown or nothing. I feel like. These games could end a bit faster when I was playing it a little bit earlier. They were like 30 second games. I'm going to do a Night Witch in the back. That, th this deck is undefeated. Out of 100 games, I've only lost once. And I think he had the same deck as me. So did I get outplayed? Or did he have a better rotation? He totally had a better rotation. Luck. So that Ice Wizard is wrecking the bats, but it's only level 12 because it's not one-shotting them. So I'm going to go in for the Miner right off the bat. Oh, those skeletons. Lumberjack is not going to survive. Look at all those bats, all those skeletons. Flying Machine locks onto the tower. Magic Archer's coming in. Oh, no, no. Tornado's not going to stop anything. There's going to be a lot of pain. Didn't even need a battle healer for this. This is great. One minute games, back to back, three crowns. This is exactly what I'm talking about. 
this is how you get three crowns to get to rank 35 non-stop all day every day and plus heist is the best mode in the game so i don't really need anything why did i even get a season pass on my max that would count terrible idea was it worth it for the golden name maybe it's an intimidation factor i'm telling y'all this deck is amazing the thing about the witch that's so great is that she can take care of a golem. She can take care of minion horde. She can take care of a hog rider. Just watch her spawn all these skeletons. Each skeleton deals 67 damage. She basically has 300 DPS per wave. I'm going to do a night witch on the other side. Just to kind of throttle the direction of everything. Maybe I'll just kind of pull up the battle healer. Uh, I should have kept it near the Night Witch. That would have been so value right there. It would have healed the Night Witch. But we're going to start overwhelming him now. Night Witch needs to heal up. Oh, beautiful. That Night Witch has started spawning all those million skeletons. I don't even know if I need to address that Goblin Barrel. But we're going to do it anyways. There's no way you're going to be able to base race a, a Night Witch and a regular Witch. That's like a thousand skeletons right on the tower. And that is beauty right there. How long was that? Like a minute? Let's hop into the game. Where we are completely, absolutely under... Why are we facing 5700s? Matchmaking for Heist is so weird right now. Gonna do a witch in the back. She's, she counters everything. She counters guards. She counters golems. She counters minion horde. What doesn't she do? The fiercest mother of them all. Okay, I'm gonna lure those bats. And, uh... I think there's gonna be a lot of skeletons that are gonna stack up. So we, we gotta do Goblin Gang. That's actually kind of scary. That's a lot of... Oh, shoot. We're out of rotation. I'm gonna... I don't know. Ugh! Oh, that was a lot of damage! Take out the guards? Ah, oh, not quite. That's okay, though. You can't stop this. This deck is undefeatable! I'm going to do a flying machine in the corner there. Those bats are going to destroy that Valkyrie. No chance whatsoever. He went in full graveyard and he lost everything. That's beautiful. We got to go in again. How many wins is that back to back to back to back? I like starting with a witch. Always, always start with a witch if you can. If you can't, then Night Witch. If you can't do that, then Magic Archer. If you can't, then you have a really bad rotation. I'm probably going to do a flying machine in the very back there just to address the bowler. Right at 10 elixir though. We don't really want no trouble. We don't want shenanigans going on. I'm going to do a uh, baby dragon on top of that bowler because we do need to address that inferno dragon in a quick little brief moment. Distract it with the goblin gang. Does that make sense? Absolutely not. Did it work? Absolutely. Now we're going to come in hot. I feel like I want the battle healer to kind of save the Night Witch. Man, if I had the battle healer there at that very moment, that would have saved everyone. Those bats are going to wreck that bowler. Oh my gosh. She's going to heal everything. Heals the miner. Heals the baby dragon. That's it. This was a bit longer than one minute. But you destroy your opponents completely. We could probably climb a lot of ranks with this. I match with a 5700, I match with a 5100. What is this? What is life? I'm gonna do a Night Witch in the very back. Just so that you can start trickling those bats. And Miner is exactly for firecrackers and princesses and all of those shenanigans. He goes backwards right into the Miner. Uh, those skeletons are gonna get some work done. Maybe I'll do a battle healer because I feel like I want to heal up my baby dragon a bit. Oh, beautiful. Those bats on the flying machine are gonna stop it completely. That's exactly what we needed. Firecracker is not gonna be able to stop that. Oh, the battle healer was slightly out of range. Feels bad. Okay, he kind of counters this. But look at the battle healer. Against two minions, they, they barely take her out. We're going to do a witch on the right side. Just because it's going to take out all of those minions. And absorb the fire spirit. That is perfection. Oh, shoot. Six tile magic archer stanks. 
All right, let's do a flying machine. I'm not going to use... I'm not going to use my miner just quite yet. Not until he has the firecracker. There's the firecracker. We're good. Magic Archer takes out the minion horde. We have the battle healer going on. Let's take out the firecracker real quick. It could deal some serious damage to the witch and everything else. So take it out real quick. Heals the witch. Heals the miner. That's it. You, you can't do anything else. Okay, this was a two-minute game, but it was a complete clean sweep. You cannot beat this deck. Uh, this is amazing. I think I might do a Night Witch in the back or a Battle Healer. Let's do a Night Witch. Oh, they're on the right track. Japan knows what's up. Electro Dragon. That's actually kind of scary. Because the Electro Dragon's going to splashy splash everything. I'm going to need to use the Battle Healer very fast. My Battle Healer needs to win, though. Like, really quickly. My Battle Healer won. Nice. Please, take out. Did not take out the dragon. All right, well, let's do a witch then. I hate that you have to spend elixir to take out a one health unit. Oh my gosh, he's got witches. He knows what he's doing. And he's got a battle healer. I don't like this. He knows. We need firepower. Electro dragon is very good in this. I did swap out electro dragon for battle healer. I'm kind of scared. I think he knows what's up with heist. This might be a very good deck as well. This is a very good deck. I missed my Electro Dragon. I should put it back. Oh, I gave him safe damage. Free safe damage. Dang it. Wow. This opponent is skilled. I don't like it. Let's start off with the Witch in the back. He has Lightning. Gotta keep that in mind. Gotta be very careful of that. We need to start using stuff. Flying machine intentionally put outside of the tornado because we know we got we got to wreck everything else. Okay, I'm gonna do a battle healer on top. We need to re recover from this. Am I gonna do put everything on the left side? Yes, I am. Is it gonna be lightning value? He's only able to lightning three things. Okay, this is gonna be great. This is where we overwhelm, and I was worried. Not once did he have me. All of those bats, all of those skeletons, Night Witch and Bat. Perfection. His mistake was using Elixir Golem. Just complete, overwhelming domination. We just unlocked a tier and a half. Feels bad that I don't need any of these star points, though. I want absolute domination. That one wasn't, that wasn't satisfying enough. We'll do a Witch in the back. What's he gonna do? I ain't scared of your giant. Battle healer to tank for the witch in case he puts anything down. Night witch in the very, very back because I want her to start stacking those skeletons. The sooner she exists, the sooner she deals a ton of damage. Oh, wow. Log and fireball took that out. My battle healer is going to survive, though. That's the most obnoxious thing is that it's going to heal back to full health. Oh, my gosh. It's over for him. That's it. My night witch destroys the giant. Never bring giant in this mode. Never bring golem in this mode. All those witches, the battle healer healing up everything. That battle healer went to 5% health at least twice in this game. Mega Minion is not enough to take out a battle healer without the assistance of a tower. She heals so, so much in this mode. She's so good. Look at that. We just need two more crowns. I've done Night Witch and Witch starting. I'm going to start with the Battle Healer now. Okay, maybe I should have started with the Witch. I wasn't expecting a Golem. The Golem, Golem is going to melt so hard, but I think I'm going to lose that Battle Healer. I really, 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 really want to cycle to my Witch right now, so I'm going to put down the Flying Machine in the back. And then I'm going to put a Witch a little bit farther back just to stagger it from too much spell value. I, there, there's a lot going on right now. I get it. I need to put a Baby Dragon right on top there. Sooner or later, Arrows... Not enough. Night Witch is getting destroyed by the witch spawning the skeletons. Oh dear. I got destroyed. Okay, well, I have to wait for that baby dragon to tank for everything. Maybe I can geometry that to take out one bat at least. Yeah, I did. Okay, that's not bad. 
It's because I started with a battle healer. If I started with the Night Witch, it would have been a complete domination. I'm going to wait for him to counter that magic archer. Oh, perfect. A little happy battle healer in the very back. Plant her down a little bit earlier so she loads and deploys. Wait, is she going to lose? No. I would be so cheesed if she lost. She's going to start healing up again. I'm going to do a witch in the very back. She needs to spawn the skeletons. I need a baby dragon on top there. That battle healer survived for a long time. Took out the lumberjack and tanked all of that noise. I love it. Okay, we need to do a night witch in the back though. We need to address the shenanigans going on right now. I need a magic archer support that night witch because it's not going to be quite enough there we go and then we're going to do a flying machine on to that baby dragon swerve that lumberjack away from my magic archer we don't need that negativity right now oh shoot magic archer connected to the tower we're going to come back from this mark my words i'm letting him think that he's got it I'm going to put everything in the right lane. Meanwhile, the witch itself is going to cover the golem night witch push. Uh, maybe the magic archer too. Pull the night witch upwards. And we'll be good. Everything's alive. The battle healer is still alive. Holy heck. We're going to dominate. There's no heckin' way. Battle healer is still alive. We're coming in with a flying machine and night witch. Ah, oh, dang it. We, we can't afford too much damage on the heist. Night witch is coming in hot. She's gonna supply all of her baddies on the right side. Baby dragon's not gonna be enough to take that out. That tornado's not worth it. I need a miner on that ice wizard. He's got too much value right now. Skeletons, bats, they're all trickling in. I need a flying machine to address that real quickie. Slowly but surely, flying machine locks on and that is it. I let him think he had me. You know what this deck needs? It needs Electro Dragon back in there. The biggest reason why I struggled with that golem push was because I didn't really have anything to address the Night Witch behind the golem. And if I had an Electro Dragon, that would have been a completely different story. I think instead of Magic Archer, I might even just do Electro Dragon just because Electro Dragon might be better than Magic Archer. It's weird saying that, but Magic Archer is only six tiles now until he gets buffed again. I don't think anything's going to change. Let's swap in the Electro Dragon in for this deck. I was disappointed that it, it took so much work. We should have destroyed that Golem user in one minute, not three minutes. That's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you do really want to keep pushing everything on the first week, this is the mode to do it in. This deck with a variation of Witch, Night Witch, Battle Healer, they're all so, so, so valuable. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you everyone that uses code OJ. Until next time, stay tuned for more quality OJ.